and the viewers so here we are then looking at the new Matterhorn circuit which was shown this week at E3 one of the Gran Turismo circuits we're going to be looking forward to I uh, love the views on this circuit at the moment it's lots of up and down hill at the moment and it's looking really nice lots of detail uh, I think the graphics do look a little bit improved over the previous uh, Gran Turismo I think they've been refined but I'm not going to do all the reflection right now I'm going to add in a lot of that later I'm just taking in the lap of the circuit with you uh, we don't have um, we did have the direct feed on this video uh, direct sound should I say but uh, unfortunately someone accidentally turned down the music rather sorry they turned down the car engine rather than the music which is a bit of a shame so in the end we ended up with a almost silent run but you do hear lots of sound effects apparently uh, the, the sound effects are placeholders uh, so we await to see if that's something where they've responded to the criticisms of this week or whether it's something that uh, is actually going to be improved upon radically we will know soon there was a demo coming out next month and we look forward to seeing what they have on there let's hope they don't have the placeholder sound effects on there because if they are placeholder sound effects then they're not doing themselves justice this track looks nice uh, I do like my favorite word undulation and there's lots of undulation on this uh, circuit uh, I like it you know it's uh, got a real feel here that you're driving off the edge down there nice feeling of depth and everything else I, I've seen some people being critical that the mountains in the background aren't rendered um, I don't think it would make a huge difference to the gameplay experience uh, I think the tarmac detail is bland though I, I, I really do feel that it's almost a little bit too perfect on a mountainside like this you know it would get battered and worn uh, I don't know I just feel that it's just not enough life to the tarmac at the moment and they need to give it some uh, this is happening all too often no racing lines no tire dig off line uh, no breaking points into corners such as this uh, there's, there's nothing there at all it's all right saying well this is a car on its first run on this first track no this is a race track tracks have had a life to them uh, and they really need to give it a bit more you know it's it's really perfect at the moment i think it's just one of those things about gran turismo as the player here flies off it is hard at e3 trying to find the best drivers so we you know our camera guys do look for someone who can actually demonstrate the game our camera guys aren't always racing guys themselves they're there to film the game predominantly and get what footage they can for you guys and we've got another gran turismo video to come after this as well maybe a, maybe a couple i have to go through all the footage that we've got but you'll see that coming up on the channel over the next couple of days and hopefully we'll be able to cover more of the game up to launch and beyond launch as well we'll be asking sony and seeing if we can get the kind of access that we need to bring this content to you and work with gran turismo long term hopefully we can do that because we're big driving fans we're big gran turismo fans at vv but at the same time we do need a little bit of support and access from the publisher so this is a, a brief video uh, looking at gran turismo the points have been over I'll be over, I'll go over again, no doubt, in future videos, but I just thought I'd have a little ramble on this one while the audio's not there. And uh, there'll be more from me, lots of other E3 content very soon.